These three players are all hoping to win this at £10,000 jackpot. But if it falls into the win zone with this, we'll be walking away with £20,000. Can only be a tipping point. Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Iva, a retired highway technician from Newcastle Contain. I'm Sandy, a humanitarian fundraiser from West Sussex. And I'm Sean, an aircraft... Crystal. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counts. If questions are on the buzzer, if you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counts, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, we'll double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can to stay in the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Right, everybody ready? Hands on your buzzers, here comes your first question. Which West End musical, based on a Disney animation, features the songs Let It Go and Do You Want To Build? Ivor. Frozen. Do you want to build a snowman? It is frozen. Yes, Ivor, absolutely right. So would you like to play or pass the first counter? Pass to Sandy, please. Passing straight over to Sandy. Right, Sandy, <laughs> let's see if we can get you some money. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Drop zone one, I think. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone one for Sandy. Oh, really rapid drop and a good settle, Sandy. Nice and flat. Can we get something over the top shelf? Yes, we can. Oh. <laughs> and is your bottom going to go? It's <laughs> no! <laughs> Just shuffles the tipping point, sadly. Nothing from that drop, you've still got two left. Here's your next question. The TV game show where contestants aim to match their answers with a celebrity panel is called Blankety What? Sean. Blank. Blankety Blank is absolutely right. Are you going to play, Sean? Yeah, I think I'll play Drop Zone 1, please. Drop Zone 1 for Sean, please. <laughs> Nicely timed and a good settle. It's a bit calmer than Sandy's. Similar spot. <laughs> Anything going over the top for you, though? Yes, a couple here. Oh, it's going to sneak up to the double. But still, <sighs> the tipping point's not quite ready, Sean. OK, next question. In August 2021, which Portuguese footballer returned to play for Manchester United? Ivor? Ronaldo. After 12 years, yes, Cristiano Ronaldo. Right, Ivor, are you ready to play yet? Yes, ready. Where are you going to go? Drop zone one, Ben, please. Drop zone one, let's do it. So, Sandy and Sean have tried. Will you succeed? Is the top shelf ready, Ivan? Not sure, it's that top shelf. We need that little silver counter on the right to go. Otherwise, I'm not sure the top's going to go. No, it's not. So you've all given it a crack. <laughs> one from each of you into drop zone one. Nothing's come out just yet. Next question. Measuring 18 millimetres in diameter. What is the smallest coin in current circulation in the UK? Sean. Five pence piece. It is the five pence piece, yeah. Right then, Sean. Got to be drop zone one again. Let's try. Fire up one, please. So we have fourth counter in. Certainly packing it with counters. Ooh. Is the machine ready to pay out? Ooh, slams down and did settle flat. Now, what are we getting over the top shelf here, Sean? Hopefully something. That's not quite left. No, it? it's not, is it? It's just been swallowed into a gap at the back of the shelf. Sean, wow. So you're down to your last counter. Between you, you've put four into drop zone one. Nothing's gone yet. Surely it's got to go at some point. Here's your next question. In 2021, which politician became the second ever Catholic US president? Sean. Joe Biden. It is Joe Biden, Sean, yes. Now then, you've got one counter left. Are you going to take the risk or are you going to pass? It's got to go this time. I'm going to take the risk. Drop zone one. Let's see if it's right. Fire up one for Sean. Third time lucky, he's hoping. 
Right, similar spot to the last one. What do you think, Sean? I hope so. <laughs> oh, oh, Sean! No. No. Oh. That is a cruel twist, Sean. I can't believe it. Oh, that's five counters you've put in to drop someone. Still nothing's come out, Sean. That was your third and final one. So for the time being, I'm afraid you are out. So Ivor and Sandy, you both have two counters left to play each. Next question is for you two. In January 2022, which pop singer revealed that she was expecting a baby with her rapper boyfriend ASAP Rocky? Ivor. Rihanna. It is Rihanna, Ivor. Yes, great answer that. Now, would you like to play? Drop zone one, please, Let's Ben. Let's do it. Well, I've dropped zone one. Zone one's looking pretty pregnant right now, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. What's it going to drop? There you go. There, surely. Just where Sean left his, he can't bear to watch. Oh, oh that's well, what we've been well. waiting for. <laughs> Is this the drop? Look at that, right, oh, 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 wow. That's brilliant. <laughs> Nine counters, Ivor. A lot of hard work from everybody wow. went into that. And you've got the benefit. That's £450. The double fell as well, though, so we can double it up to make it all the more sweet. Oh, yeah. Another looking, 450 looking. 901 go. Let's put that into your bank. And we've got one counter still to play. Next question for Sandy and for Ivor. Which pair of organs contain over 300 million alveoli and approximately... Ivor. Lungs. And approximately 1,500 miles of airways. It is the lungs. Yes, Ivor. Great answer. Now, are you going to play again, Ivor, or are you going to yes, pass? Yes. Uh, drop soon one, Ben. Drop soon one again. OK. Yeah. We're going to... Fire up one, please. <laughs> Bit sparse on the top right, but the bottom right looks very, very lucrative. Oh, 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 it's flat. Looky. It thought about it, didn't it? Looky, looky. Can we get that little stash there down? No! Oh, no! They're clinging on. They look like they're One steady time. on the shelf as well, don't they? Not moving at all, Ivor. So, sadly, for you, not for the other two, of course, cos you're already way out in the lead. Yeah. That was your third and final counter. So you have used all three now, so for the time being, you're out. Right, Sandy, it's just you. Cos <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> You don't need to use your buzzer. Okay. You do need to give me the correct answer to both these questions, put the counts in the machine. All right, <laughs> here we go. Here's your first one. In 10-pin bowling, how many pins are standing in the shot known as a 7-10 split? Three? Two. Oh, it's two pins. Oh, okay. OK, not to worry, we have to steal one of your counters, Sandy. That's Ooh. going into the penalty spot. <laughs> You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. Okay. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Take a deep breath, Sandy. <laughs> we need this one to be right so you can put the counter into the machine, all right? Brazil nuts are native to which of the Earth's continents? Asia. Not Asia, no. Brazil nuts. It's South America, I'm afraid. Oh, my word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to steal your last counter, <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> it's not often the response we get, but it's nice. <laughs> Oh, for goodness sakes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we've stolen your second counter. So as things stand, Ivor has £900, Sandy and Sean have got nothing in the bank. Uh -oh. But thanks to Sandy's generosity, there are two <laughs> counters up for grabs in the penalty spot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you put both these counters into the machine. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Right, Sandy and Sean, you both need these counters to try and get a little bit of money, see if you can close the gap on Ivor. Good luck to all of you. Here comes your penalty spot question. How many vowels are there in the word? <gasps> Sandy. Oh, no. <laughs> how many? Guess? Three. There's not three, I'm afraid. <laughs> I was going to say, how many vowels are there in the word Terminator? Oh. It was four. <laughs> oh, you weren't far oh, off. Please. You weren't far off. <laughs> Sandy, we're going to freeze you out here, so you can't answer this next one. Ivor and Sean, here comes your next penalty pot question. The regnal name of which British queen comes last alphabetically? Ivor. Victoria. It is Victoria, yes. You're absolutely right. Well done, Ivor. So you win the penalty pot. Both these counters are yours. So where would you want to go? Drop some one, Ben, please. Let's have drop some one for Ivor. Ooh, slides out nicely. If something comes over the top... Oh, here we go, Ivor. Are you going to get another good drop? I think you might. <laughs> Two, well done. Nine counters again. £450 for you, Ivor. Dropping in nines for you, aren't they? Nicely. One more to go in. Ben, drop zone two, please. Let's have drop zone two. Settle 
feels very centrally. Top shelf going to go? Not sure. Yes, it is. A couple of mysteries here as well. Can I get close? They might just cling on a little longer. Not to worry, £450 either. Let's take that from the machine, put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Ivor's way out in the lead with £1,350. Sandy and Sean, they've got <laughs> nothing in the bank just yet. So join us after the break to which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Ivor, Sandy and Sean are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win them a counter to the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Ivor, as you're the only one with any money, you're way out in the lead, <laughs> you get to choose. Would you like to play first, or would you like to ask Sandy or Sean to play? Can I play first, Ben? Of course you can. 45 seconds for you, Ivor. Every time you get a question right, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass. Right. Okay? 45 seconds for Ivor, please. Your time starts now. BMX and Tandem are types of which two-wheeled mode of transport? Bike. Correct. Lake Ontario straddles the border of the USA and which other country? Canada. Correct. Plum Judy and Mallow Skipper are species of which flying insect? Beetle. Butterfly. Which actor portrays the Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee in the 2022 TV series Pam and Tommy? Tommy Lee. Popular move used in boxing. A jab is a quick punch performed by extending which upper limb of the body? Arm. Correct. Solange Knowles is the younger sister of which American singer and actress? Uh, Beyonce. Correct. For the 2010 film Inception, Christopher Nolan was credited as writer, producer and which other role? Pass. Director. What nut is the main flavouring used in the Italian... What nut is the main flavouring used in the Italian liqueur Frangelico? Did you know? Pistachio? No, it's hazelnut. Oh, well, hazelnut. That's fair. Four enough. correct answers in there, Ivor. Yeah. Four counts to put into the machine. So four chances to extend that lead of yours. Right. Where would you like to go? Drop zone two, Ben, please. Light up two, please. Two mystery counts on the bottom shelf and a whole stack of cash waiting to drop. <laughs> Drops and settles very centrally. Not going just yet, either. Next one. Drop zone two, Ben, please. Two again. The more that build, the more that drop. That seems to be the theme. Oh, settle. Spinning hectic settle. <laughs> Did come eventually. There's a couple here. Is the tipping point going to go? A bit of it does. Four counters for you, Ivan. Two hundred pounds. You got two more to go in. Drop soon, two, Ben. Drop soon, two, please. Ooh, that's it, isn't it? Just where you needed it. Take out that little pair in the middle. There you go. One extra there, just for good measure. Wow, oh, well oh, done, oh, Ivor. Oh. Another 10, Ivor. Going along very nicely. That's brilliant. Lucky. Another 500 pounds. We're up to 700 pounds now. And you've got one more to put in. Drop soon, two, Ben. Let's have drop zone two, please. <laughs> okay, going over to the right hand side. Little mystery counter there. Get your hands on that. Maybe it's going to get close. Oh, it's a gap. Drop, though. There is a bit of a gap. Oh. And it has filled the gap. So seven hundred pounds, Ivor. Very nicely done. Let's put that into your bank. And that's going to leave you on two thousand and fifty pounds. Sandy and Sean, you both have nothing in the bank just yet. But Sean, by virtue of the fact that you answered a question correctly in the last round, you get to choose. You can play next if you think the machine's ready. Alternatively, you could ask Sandy to play. I think. I'm going to ask Sandy to play this round. OK. Right then, Sandy. Thank you. <laughs> 45 seconds for you here. Your time starts now. Tempranillo is a variety of which small fruit used to make wine? Great. Correct. In which US state is the city and tourist resort of Las Vegas? And Nevada. Correct. Dawn FM is a 2022 UK number one album by which Canadian singer-songwriter? Justin Timber. The Weeknd. Oh, In right. the Bible, who is the father of the apostles James and John? Pass. Zebedee. 
The term bloodshot typically refers to the inflammation or redness of Eyes. which... Correct. On which of the three main temperature scales does a healthy human body temperature typically measure 37 degrees? Fahrenheit. Celsius. <laughs> in cricket, which county team plays most of their home matches at the Emirates Old Trafford in Manchester? Which county? Uh, Yorkshire. Lancashire. Lancashire. <laughs> River Rose and the Magical Lullaby is a children's book. <laughs> we just ran out of time on this one. River Rose and the Magical Lullaby is a children's book by which singer did you know? No. Kelly Clarkson. Oh. Uh, you got three correct answers in there, Sandy. I'm surprised. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, we've got three counters to try and get as much money as possible to see if you can get through to the head-to-head -head with Ivor. Where do you want to go? I'm thinking drop zone three. Drop zone three? Yeah. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone three, please. And it just settled nicely. Oh. It didn't go where I wanted it. Where did you want it to go? The other line. On the left. On the left, yes. Yeah. OK, let's see what happens here. Just nudging a few forward. Mm. OK, two more to go in, Sandy. I think I might go for drop zone two. OK, let's have drop zone two, please. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want you on the left. <laughs> Oh, Sandy! <laughs> Sandy! Oh, for goodness sake. That's silver count. Just keep an eye on it. Let's see if it can just wriggle free. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Still in play. Let's see if we get something. Oh, the mystery's I'm very close. <laughs> Got two counters. You're on the way. Let's put £100 into the machine. One more counter to put in, Sandy. I think I'll have to take a chance with the drop zone two. Let's go two again. Yeah. Fire it up. Yeah, that's going to ride, surely. No? Ooh, it's flat. It's flat. It's flat. <laughs> if you get something over the top shelf, that mystery could go. F is it going to go, though? <laughs> oh, no. no, it's not. Oh, what a shame. It is. You've got it really, really close, but it's going to cling on and live to fight another drop. Let's take the £100, though, from the machine and put it into your bank. It does get you off the mark. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Right then, Sean, 45 seconds for you. Your time starts now. A horse racing triple crown comprises how many individual races? Three. Correct. In which royal borough of London is the historic Prime Meridian line? Kensington. Greenwich. Found in the blood and lymph tissue in the body, leukocytes are a type of which coloured blood cell? White. Correct. What is the name of the geological time period that came immediately before the Jurassic period? Cretaceous. Triassic. Habanero and Cayenne are varieties of the spicy... Chili. Chili what? Powder. Pepper. When it first aired in 2021, which Red Dwarf actor hosted the game show Moneybags? Craig Charles. Correct. Big Wig Stands His Ground is a chapter from which Richard Pass. Adams novel, Warship Down? The ancient Celtic festival of Sarwin was a precursor to which modern-day annual celebration? Summer Solstice. Not Summer Solstice, Halloween, actually, Sean. So three correct answers for you. Three counters put into the machine. What you need to do is try and get at least two to four sudden death. If you get three out, you're going through. Anything less than two, you're going home. <laughs> what are you thinking there, Sean? I think I'm going to have to try drop zone three. Going for three? Try and get some counters over there. Let's the see what we do. Fire up drop zone three, please. Just the 41 to catch either. <laughs> is that the side? No, I was hoping to come on the left a little bit. Tonight. Yeah, this is what Sandy tried. Is it going to go? Ooh, could get a couple, though. And there's yeah. two. Ooh. And some of them little think Ooh. about it. I wonder if they'll take a little bit. At least bit they've got a few over You now, have? Yeah. <laughs> that looks like it's ready to go. Draws your level with Sandy as well. £100 there for those two. Two more to go, Angel. OK, uh, drop zone three again, please. Let's go with three. That's the side you're both looking for, isn't it? Yeah. Is that the side that's going to deliver? I'm going to push into the gap. Oh, come on, good squeeze here. Oh, oh that's well, more like oh, it. Yeah. Well done, Sean. Sure. <laughs> that's good. 11 more for you there, Sean. £550 takes you up to 650 Oh, Sandy, I'm afraid that means we're going to lose you at the end <laughs> of the round. <laughs> Sorry. And we've got one more counter to put in. I'll go for... Um... 
Drop Zone 2 at the moment. Try and get the mystery card. Yeah, let's do it. Fire up Drop Zone 2, please. They're both right on the edge, aren't they? To the left. To the left. Oh. oh! Stay there, stay there, stay there. If that drops back, Ooh. it is flat. Mm, so be. don't worry about it filling the gap, because that's the one you wanted. Maybe that pushes that mystery over. Yeah, well done. That was brilliant. Eight more for you there, Sean, including the one that jumped out of the machine. So another £400. It's a lot healthier now, isn't it? £1,050. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And the one that jumped out of the machine is, in fact, a mystery prize. You've won yourself a Hollywood Airjet hot tub, courtesy of Lazy Spa. <laughs> wow. How cool is that? Really? My uh, wife will be very pleased with that. Uh, Sean, really cracking stuff. You've given yourself a decent chance now. We come to the end of the round, and that means Ivor is leading with £2,050. Sean has closed the gap considerably, even though it's still quite big, to £1,050. Sandy, I'm so sorry <laughs> you've been a joy, but with £100, I'm afraid we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. It's been great fun. Thank you. Thank you. You've been fab. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> Thank you. So as Ivor and Sean will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, your chance to win an amazing cash prize for £17,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP235 PO Box 7558 WDE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Ivor and Sean. Very well done to both of you for getting this far. There is a bit of a gap for you to close here, Sean. Ivor absolutely dominated up until the end of that last round. You side the gap, you've halved it. We do still have a double on the top shelf of three. Maybe if we can get that forward and work it to the edge, that'll give you half a shot at trying to close that gap. You could still find yourself in the final. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. Give me a correct answer, put the count into the machine. Give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the count into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our jackpot. Either as you are leading, you've played brilliantly up till now, you get to choose. Would you like the first question? We'd like to offer it to Sean. I'll have the first question, Ben, please. Okay, first one for you. Reaching the UK top 20 in May 2021, the Eurovision winning single by Maniskin is sung in which European language? Now, you can pass this or you can play it. I'll play it, Ben. You're going to play it? Do you know this one? Italian. You think it's Italian? Sean, did you have any idea, Maniskin? I'm glad that I've played that, actually, because I had you no, no idea. You've not heard of them? OK, let's see if I was right. Is the answer Italian? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh. You're absolutely right. They were the Italian entry, of course. Right then. Ivor, where should we go? I'm going to go drop zone one, Ben, actually. OK, let's do it. Drop zone one, please. Hard on the right, that little mystery counter might drop for you, right? Ooh, what do you think? Is that close it's enough? It's in the middle. No. Might take the stash on the left over. Might oh, just shuffle things working. around. No. So nothing drops there. OK. Time for your first question. Who was UK Prime Minister at the time the Good Friday Agreement was signed? I think I was young when this happened, and I think I might have an idea who it was. OK. I'm going to play. OK, so when do you think it might have happened? I think it was maybe mid-90s. OK. I think him, Tony Blair. You're going to go Tony Blair? Yeah. OK, let's see if you've got this right. Ivor, what would you have said? Tony Blair. You'd have gone Tony Blair yeah. as well? Sounds like you may have this, or Ivor thinks you have, Sean. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Tony Blair? Yes, he came in in 97, and they signed it in April 1998. Sean, very well done. Great answer. Let's get you some money. You deserve some from that answer. So where do you want to go? To catch Ivor, I've got to try and get the double over, so I'm going to go for drop zone three, please. Let's do drop zone three, please. Okay, let's see if we can get a little squeeze on it. It's the bright ballpark, isn't it? Go on now. A little nudge. Mm, might get a few over. No, just shifting them forward. Okay, Ivor, back to you. Time for your second question. 
Between 1485 and 1603, how many British monarchs reigned from the House of Tudor? I'll pass it. Right, Sean, you into your kings and queens? Not hugely. But... OK. Um, so you had Henry VIII, you had his daughter, um, his dad before him. I'm trying to think whether his dad before him was as well. I'm going to say four. You're going to be four? Four. OK. Ivor, what would you have said? I would have went for three, actually. You might have gone with three. OK. Let's see if you're right, Sean. How many British monarchs reigned from the House of Tudor? Was it four? Do you know, you were very close. It was five. Henry VII, Henry VIII, Edward VI, Mary I and Elizabeth I. Good try, Sean. Nearly. Not quite, though. So, Ivor, you get the counter. Where do you want to go? Drop zoom one, Ben. Same with one for Ivor. Oh, Ooh, that sake. feels like it may <laughs> get there. Is the mystery going to go? There's a couple round here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> Just had a little nibble, but nothing drops either. Right, Sean, back to you. Time for your second question. What nocturnal mammal is the UK's largest land carnivore? Um, I think there was one outside my front door yesterday. I think it was a fox. You going with fox? Yeah. OK. Ivor, uh, Sean's given me fox. He could have passed it over. I think he thinks he's made a mistake now. What would you have said? I don't know if I've read the question correctly, but I thought an owl. You might have gone owl. Well, the question was, what nocturnal mammal is the UK's largest land carnivore? Oh, right. OK, Sean, you suddenly winced in pain, like you'd realised there may have been one you forgot. Maybe a badger? Maybe a badger. You give me fox, unfortunately. Is the answer fox? <laughs> oh, it's badger, Sean. Ivor, an absolute gift from Sean there. Yeah. You get the counter. Where do you want to go? Drop Sean one, Ben. We're going to stay with it. Yep. Drop one, please. Go for the... This should be prize. We're trying for the mystery. It's right between one and two, isn't it? So it's got to be hard on the right. Went far off last time. Ah. OK, let's see if we can collect some money. Yeah, hopefully. And that's a nice big oh, oh, set. Oh. Bit of lateral on it. Ooh, got a little nudge. The mystery survived. Yeah. Four counters there, Ivor. Another £200. Let's put it straight in your bank. It's going to put you on £2,250. You keep control as well, Ivor. Time for your third and final question. Which country finished top of the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympics medal table? I'll answer the question, actually. You're going to go for it, OK. China. You're going with China. Sean, if Ivor had passed this over, what would you have said? I'd have said the same. You'd have gone China too. OK, let's see if you're right. The country that finished top of the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympics medal table, was it China? Ooh, no. It was America. It was oh, the USA. Dear. China had 88 medals. The USA had 113. So they were second. So, Sean, I have a gift one to you. Where would you like to go? Drop zone two, please. Drop zone two. Let's do it. Bar up, please. Let's see if the mystery can. OK. Yeah, that top shelf going to give you any joy? Oh, no. Of course not. <laughs> Just setting it up. So no damage done there. You yeah. get one last chance, though, Sean. Time for your third and final question. Retirees Elizabeth, Joyce, Ibrahim and Ron first appeared in which 2020 novel by Richard Osman? I'm going to pass it because I don't know the answer. No so ideas. Much, no. Right then, Ivor. Let's see if you can win this last counter. I've read the book. Have you? That's the worst thing. And I can't... <laughs> I've got a mind blank. OK, I'm so... I'm going to think it's the four detectives who were in this home, the people's home. Oh, what's the name? I'll say the first wife's tale. I don't know if I got that right. OK, the first wife's tale. Let's see if you're right. Sounds like you have read it and enjoyed it. Have you got the right name? No. Nah. Is it the first wife's tale? No. no. The Thursday Murder Club. Oh, yes. They meet on Thursdays to discuss oh, murders, so of course. Obvious. It is when you know it. Sean, you get a little bonus here. Let's see what we can do with this last counter. I'm going to go to drop zone two. Try and get the mystery. Let's right. do it. Bar up two, please. Go on, get across. Oh. That far enough across. Wrong side. 
two go. A little bit of Can lateral on it. Is it going to go? Oh, oh well yeah. done. Yes. <laughs> well done. Well done, Sean. Yes. Oh. It was always a tough ask to close the gap, but two counters might not do that, but it will give you another prize. Let's take that from the machine. It's £100 and put it into your bank. we will leave you £1,150. Got your second prize, though, and it is a helicopter flight for two with a glass of champagne. Cuts you into the blue. <laughs> oh, Brilliant. That's, Thank that's, you. That's fun. So, at the end of the round, it is Ivor who is today's winner with two... Pounds. Nicely done, Ivor. You've played a really cracking game. Sean, well done you as well. Sadly, it was too much of a gap to close in the end. With £1,150, you have found a tin point. Of course, you have won your hot tub and your helicopter flight. Thank you so much for playing. Thanks. I've had a great day and uh, good luck to Ivor. Great yep. stuff. Thanks, Sean. So it is Ivor, who is our champion. Ivor, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. It's bigger and better than all the other ones, though, because you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can I ever master the machine by finding a chatbot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, your chance to win an amazing cash prize for £17,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP235, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Iva is today's winner, has managed to get £2,250. Very nicely done, Iva. Yep. You've played Great. a cracking game. You've charmed our machine. There's been some lovely drops along the way. And now it's you and the machine and the chance to go home with our jackpot. Mm -hmm. If we were to get it out, have you had a little think about what you might like to do with the money? Well, literally, if I win the jackpot, I'll win a good Australia New Zealand next year. Oh, wow. I've got loads of ideas. I mean, Euro Disney, I could take the whole family, everybody. The kids, even the two sons, you know what I mean? The waves and the, the grandkids. Amazing. Well, it sounds like you've got a number of things you could do with it. Oh, well, yeah. And plenty of ideas as well. My wife's got loads of ideas. <laughs> oh, just... Well, let's see if we can get her the jackpot and the £10,000 to spend, yes. however you choose to do it. Good luck, Ivor. Yes, no problem, Ben. Time to find out whether Ivor's going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, you just need to get it out. If you want to go home with £20,000, so you can get to the drop with the double there. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. Yes. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counts into the machine. Right. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. Mm -hmm. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. Yeah. I'm sure you know exactly how it works. Yes. Right then, when it comes to our jackpot counter, what are you thinking? Which drop zone? Well, at first, I was thinking of drop zone one with the less traffic. But yeah, drop zone count. three with the double counter Ooh. and maybe build the pot up yeah. just in case. Yes, of course. OK, so should we go drop zone three then? Drop zone three, Ben. Let's do it. Fire do I do it? Fire up drop zone three, please. Yes, you do do it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice. So, oh. settles really nicely. It's going to snuggle up alongside that double, I think. There you go, Ivor. That's not bad, is it? Well, we'll get a few off. We'll certainly work a few. We'll start with four going in. £200 goes in, £2,450 in the machine. The jackpot counter nice and flat right in the middle, but double just ahead of it. Nice stuff. Right, let's have a look at your end game categories. Here they are. Literature, human body, food and drink, history, sport and film. Play them in any order. Uh, food and drink first, Ben. For how many? For three. Food and drink for three, please. What ingredient is added to a chai latte to make it dirty? Coffee, chocolate, or cinnamon? Do you like a chai latte? I like a love a latte, but not a chai. But I think it's cinnamon. Yeah? A lot is a coffee drink anyway. But you're going to make it dirty. Chocolate's a mocha thing. So I think cinnamon is probably the chai, the dirty chai. Should we light up cinnamon then? Yep. We're please, going to go man. with cinnamon, please. Let's see if you're right. If you want to make a chai latte dirty, do you add cinnamon? Mm. It's coffee, apparently. Oh. It's a shot of espresso goes into a chai latte. Oh, great. Right, that's a shame. Let's go back to the categories. Still got a long way to go. Where next? Right, we'll start with the sport, actually, three. Let's go sport for three. Which tennis player won their first women's singles Grand Slam title at the 2021 French Open? Barbora Krechkova, Ashley Barty or Sophia Kenin? I think it's Barbora Krechkova. Yes, I think she's the Russian... Tennis player. Yeah? Yeah, Ashley Barty's Australian girl. 
Actually, can I change my mind? We've not locked it in at all yet, so you can change it as many times as you like. I'll go for Ashley Barty. Any reason why you changed your mind there? Well, I think she won Wimbledon, actually, and she's there. Uh, she, she won Australian Open, so she's on top of her game as the number one seed. Okay. So should we go Ashley Barty? Ashley Barty, please. Let's load up Ashley Barty, please. So we're looking for the tennis player who won their first women's singles Grand Slam title, the French Open 2021. Is it Ashley Barty? Ooh, she won in 2019, Barbora Krechkova. Oh, right. That's so frustrating because you nearly went for it. Talked yourself out. OK, not to worry. We just need to get some correct answers and some counters to shift the jackpot. Let's have a look. We have got literature, human body, history or film? Eh, uh, literature for two. Literature for two, please. According to the nursery rhyme, whose wife could eat no lean? Jack Spratt, Jack Horner, Dr Foster. I would say I've ruled out Dr Foster went to Gloucester. Jack Horner sat in the corner. In Jack Spratt is the final answer I've been. Should we go Jack Spratt? Jack Spratt. We're going with Jack Spratt. So Dr Foster went to Gloucester, so you don't think his wife is involved? Jack Horner was sitting in the corner yep. on his Todd, so he didn't get a wife involved. <laughs> Let's see if he found the right one. It's the answer, Jack Spratt. Jack oh. Spratt, he could eat no fat. Whew. Well done. Two counters. We're on our way. At last. Job zone three? Yes, Ben. Job zone three. Glad it up, please. Ooh, uh, OK. We might have a little... Wait, have a read. Go on the jackpot, yeah. Oh, ah. it's ridden. Oh. Let's see what happens as it comes forward. Okay, one more to go in then. Drop zone three again. Yes, drop zone three, Ben. Fire it up. Sliding out? No, didn't want to. Would be nice if it had. Let's see what happens here, though. Hopefully that shouldn't ride. It doesn't. Good squeeze. Might take a few over. Yeah, there we go. Oh, takes a fair few into drop zone four. We'll rinse as much of this as we can. Nice. Yep, keep it going. Yep, absolutely. Three counters, 150 pounds. Takes us up to 2,600 in the machine. Right, we're getting some counters going now. Let's go back to the categories. Where would you like to go next? Human body, Ben. For how many? Oh, three. Human body for three, please. The common condition, folliculitis, affects which part of the human body? Skin, teeth or bones? I'm, I'm thinking this, uh, the follicles. What are your follicles? Uh, I'll put your hair, is that the hairs on your, on your skin? I'm not too sure. But I think, well, I'll, I'll rule out bones and teeth, so I'll go skin, Ben. Skin? Answer. OK. Yeah, I think it's the hair on your arms. Let's go skin, then. Folliculitis. Is that a condition that affects your skin? It is indeed. Absolutely right. Oh, what's so, three counts. That's more like it, isn't it? Yeah. Drop zone three? Yes, Ben. Drop zone three. So, come on now, Ivor. Let's get this jackpot moving. Let's turn the game around. There. On the money, as they say. Yep. Good squeeze. Can get right up to the double as well, which is not bad. <laughs> oh, do extra. Five, 250 pounds. Takes up to 2,850 pounds. Jackpot counters on the edge of the top shelf. Yep. Three again? Yeah, three again, Ben. Light it up. Just stay there. Need it to go flat. There we go. It is flat. Now, that might shift some more of that weight in drop zone four as it comes forward. There you go. Gonna get it. A squeeze. Oh, I just oh, need a counters. Okay, one more to go in. Yep. Three again. Three, Ben. Three. Add it up. Need to hit that silver one just in from the right there, Ivor. Mm -hmm. Oh, that might Make work. Make two, hopefully. That might work. The double down. Yeah, there you go. That's down. Go on, go over. Nice. Five more for you. Another 250 pounds. 
Money goes up very nicely. We're up to £3,100. The jackpot counts on the edge of the top shelf, but doubles just in front of it, Ivan. Mm -hmm. Just keep the correct answers going, my friend. Back to the categories. We have history and film. Uh, history for three. History um, for three. Please. What name did Icelandic explorer Leif Erikson give to a region of North America he discovered around 1000 AD? Finland, Leifland, or Norseland? Ever heard of Leif Erikson? No, I haven't, but uh, I've Norseland, to me, you think of Norway, so I'm writing that one out. So I think I'm going to go with Vinland, as we find answer, Ben. Vinland? Yeah. We're going with Vinland. So you've ignored Leifland. Oh, I've just realised. What have you realised? Well, Leifland, Leif Erikson. Oh, dear. Too late. Let's see if you found the right answer. Is it Vinland? Yeah. I, I, wow. didn't, I did not think about it too much. Probably a good thing. <laughs> yes, Ben. Uh, visited America 500 years before Columbus. All right. There you yeah. go. Amazing. When well, you found the right answer, more importantly. Let's. Drop zone three? Yes, drop zone three, Ben. Please. Right up. Let's see if we can get a few more. That jackpot counter comes it's, down. If we can get it down on the next level. Wouldn't that be nice? Double just by it. Go on now, steady there. That's perfect, that's... He's looking good if it stays on it. Oh, go on, flip over. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. not both, messing around I've either. I've got them both together. They are both together. That is looking particularly tasty. Five across the tipping point, £250. £3,350, Ivor. Chop soon three. Chop soon three, Ben, please. Five yeah. three. Could be good. That black counter might shift a little bit too far right. Come on now, be flat. It's flat. Where's it going to go, either? Don't think so. I think it's just going to hang on. I think it is going to slide over to the right. Ooh. There we go. Okay, we've got one more to go in. Drop in three. Yep, drop in three, Ben. Fire it. Up. A little ghost drop, just oh, to tease us down. Sort of stuck that one, didn't it? See if that's going to settle. Flat. Silver one comes over. On the right. There. The black one's got... Oh, I could have done the silver one going too. Go on now. Very tastily set. Right, one last category. Film for how many? For three, Ben. Got to go for it. Film for three. Which drama won Best Film and Best Director at the 2022 BAFTA Film Awards? Licorice Pizza, Belfast, or The Power of the Dog? Ooh, have you seen any of the films? Oh, do you know what it is? Oops. Just had a little drop. Now, let's just see what happens here, because it's all yours, Ivor. Anything going to go? Yeah. Oh, another three. Three drop in. £150. <laughs> to £3,500. Let's go back to the question. My thinking is, with the BAFTAs, I think Licorice Pizza and Power of the Dog are US movies, but there was a, a lot made for Kenneth Branagh with the Best Director Award. He didn't get it at the Oscars, but he might have got it at the BAFTAs, so I'll go for Belfast as my final answer. Belfast? Yes, Right, ben. we're going with Belfast. So, I see what you're saying. Licorice Pizza, Power of the Dog, US movies, Belfast. Kenneth Branagh's film, he directed it, didn't he? But he's growing up. Question is, did it win the BAFTA for Best Film and Best Director? Is it Belfast? Mm. Oh, well. Power of the Dog. Power of the Dog. It did win Best British Film. All oh, right. Right, so look, we're out of categories, we're out yes. of questions, but it's not over. I'm going to yep. give you one last chance to leave today with £10,000, maybe even £20,000. As things stand, you can walk away with 3,500. That's what you've got so far. Or you could trade it for three final counters to put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, nothing else has any value. Mm -hmm. So you leave with 10,000 pounds, maybe 20,000, because the double is there, or you leave with nothing at all. The question is, do you think three would be enough? I don't think it'll be enough, yeah. I've got too many questions wrong. If I had another three, I probably would have been in with a chance, I think. So actually, I'll take the money, Ben. OK, I'll ask you one last time, Ivor. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money, Ben. Congratulations, £3,500 is a lovely amount of money. 
and hopefully we'll go some way towards one of the trips you and your oh, wife yes, would like yes, to do. Yes. I'm sure you'll have yes, a lot of fun spending it either way. We are going to play this out, though. Yes, I know. Because you just never know whether it might have gone. Stop one. Ooh. Two, four, one, we in it. Oh, are they right on the oh, jackpot? No. Oh, look at them. Drop two. Oh, it's all oh, the way over again. Oh, perfect. Oh, they're going oh, together. No. Oh, no. Oh. This was the third and final drop. You might be all right. That top shelf looks a bit sparse, doesn't it? Oh. You made the right decision. <laughs> That's a big old smiley I've got to be honest, I've had a fantastic day, Ben. I'm really enjoying it. Well, you've been brilliant fun, and you're leaving with £3,500 as well. Thank you so much for taking part. Yeah, Lovely mate. to meet you. Cracking stuff. Nice to meet you, Ben. So there you go, Ivers leaving with £3,500. He wasn't tempted by the trade in the end, but look how close that was. And the double was nearly there too. But they didn't drop, so he made the right decision. Join us next time in the Fake